Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Hurry out. Important project? What project? What's up with you? Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. What's going on? Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal. It's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. Nothing. I got an easy... The shotgun ammo. Burn out the nests. Gonna need Molotovs. Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. Oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, <laughs> I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you.
Brian, Weaver, I'm here. Say, John! All right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was near a flagpole, a big one. They fly the good old stars and stripes. Oh, very patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Here they are. It's gotta be it. Could make something out of this. There's the flag. <laughs> Still flying. Yeah, here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. O'Brien, come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, I, look, I don't have time. Look. I found her, she's alive, and she's being held by, uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy, I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay, but there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien! Oh, damn it! Can of fuel. Drifter, are you there? O'Brien! Oh, okay, where the hell have you been? Meet me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien, oh, help! Oh, Jesus, he's... Damn it.
Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. Just a few more. I gotta find more. This is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Deacon to Lost Lake camp. Come back. Just, uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She... God damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said... Booze Man! Ricky! Well, give him hell, Booze Man. Give him hell.
Courier to St. John. Come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. St. John out. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn the anarchist. Colonel, I've Holy got him. Man. Transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, Corporal. Wait! Wait, you can't leave me! The freaks! The freaks!
Hey, open up. Don't shoot! It's Corporal St. John! Corporal Deacon, hello. Hello, Sergeant. Otsukaresama, <laughs> Corporal. Corporal St. John, what are you up to? Yeah? Hey, Sergeant. Corporal St. John, I've got an urgent assignment for you. Sort of assume that's why you radioed me to report in, sir. One of our patrols has been wiped out. I sent another patrol to find them, and all of our men have been accounted for, but one. Private Gomez, yeah, is she alive? I don't know. Tracked from the site lead in all directions. I need someone with your unique skills to go to the site and check it out. Okay, I'll do what I can. I know I can count on you, St. John. Dismissed. Colonel, reporting in. Did the, uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. When they went to retrieve him, he was dead. What? Dead? Poisoned and killed himself. I'm not sure how. There you go! <laughs> Okay, what were you saying? Poison. He killed himself. We're not sure how. Oh, well, I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us, died with him. <laughs> yes, sir. St. John out.
site. You think you can track it? Yeah. Uh, Gomez is here. Find her. St. John out. Scrap, good.
Should be it. That's kind of interesting. Doesn't look too bad. This is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean. And there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Curry out. Important project. What project?
Gomez, you in here? Hey, 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 I'm in here. St. John. Hey, I'm in here. Come on, buddy, I'm in here. St. John, I'm in here. Where are you? Hold on. Gomez. <coughs> Good to see you breathing. St. John, never thought I'd be glad to see your ugly mug. You got any blood left in that scrawny ass of yours? It looks like you were trying to leave it all over the campus. It wasn't all mine. <sighs> okay, are you good to go because your bike's still out front? Looks like a piece of shit, but I think it's probably that way before, you know? I could still beat your ass in a fair race. <laughs> hey, St. John. Thanks. Go on, get out of here. St. John, Captain Curry. I, uh, found her, sir. Private Gomez is on her way back. St. John, good work. Our radio in to check on her. St. John out. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating, some faster than others. Mm-hmm. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> the 
tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else we'd like you to check, we did send a team in on foot. Son of a bitch! They never came back. Just let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other... You know, to me, it sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Don't believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, it'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, oh, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, oh, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, oh, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah. And that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, well, I probably would. I'd say John out. Another flare. Yeah, this has to be the way. There's another one. Out that way. saw what hit him. Well, Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. Oh, How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking, is there something you haven't told me?
gotta be another one of O'Brien's men. Hello? Can you hear me? Moving the arm or something, if you can hear me. Arm? Uh, nope. Just gotta find a way over there. Brian, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Max, I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not gonna apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, that's so great. Oh, Brian, good for you. We didn't ask for this. Yeah, neither did anyone else. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Oh, shit. What the hell happened? Cooper, what the hell are you doing down here, man? <laughs> oh, Brian, I found your last man. I do reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, no! Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, uh, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. Where's Seth? He's down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My shit's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. You told me that a freak did all of this. Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper, are you there? Jen? I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, I can't. Me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Go. 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 Claws one. The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. 
What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! <sighs> oh, Jesus. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Guess you won't be needing this. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into the blood. Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. Oh, what it takes to survive. Oh, you know, those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. St. John to Khoury. Captain, just, uh, checking in to make sure Gomez made it back okay. Yes. Private Gomez was very grateful. She said that if it weren't for you, she would have been killed. Ah, uh, just doing my job, Captain. St. John out. <laughs> 